To download the wall background photo that is used in this tutorial, please use the link on the description. Load the wall background photo in Photoshop. Double click the background layer and rename it to wall. Add a new blank layer and rename it to background. Fill the new layer with white color. Set the layer's blending mode to multiply. Right-click on the layer, and select Convert to Smart Object from the Flyout menu. This smart layer will be used, to add your graffiti design elements, such as text, or images. To add a new element, or modify the existing ones, double-click the thumbnail of the smart layer, to edit its contents. A new document opens in your work area, containing the smart layer contents. Let's add some text. Press T to activate the text tool. You can use any font you prefer. Let's use some layer styles to colorize the text. Go to the Layers panel, and click the FX button. Activate the Gradient Overlay style. In this example, I created a simple, orange to yellow, linear gradient. You can set its angle to your liking. Now activate the Stroke Layer style. Set Black, as the stroke color. Set the position to outside and change the stroke size to your taste. Click to activate the drop shadow. Use the drop shadow settings shown on the screen. Finally, hit OK to confirm and apply the style to the text layer. Close the document, and save your changes. Click the FX button on the Layers panel, and select Blending Options. Press down the Alt key. If you have a Mac, press down the Option key. Drag the lower white triangle to the left. The triangle splits into two parts. Drag the left half of the triangle, until you read the settings 30, 255. Release the Alt key, and hit OK to confirm. Select, Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and set the filter radius to 6 pixels. Duplicate the smart layer, by pressing Ctrl J on a PC, or Command J on a Mac. Right click on the Gaussian Blur filter, and select Delete Smart Filter. Click the FX button, and select Blending Options. Press down the Alt, or the Options key, and drag to the right the left half of the white triangle. Drag slowly, until you read the settings 140, 255. Set the layer's opacity to 90%. Select, Filter, Filter Gallery, Select the glass filter. Use the filter settings shown on your screen. Click the plus sign to duplicate the filter. This filter is used to simulate the tiny droplets of paint sprayed by the graffiti can. Hit OK to confirm. Duplicate the smart layer, by pressing Ctrl J, or Command J. Right click on Filter Gallery, and select Delete Smart Filter. Click the FX button, and select Blending Options. Press down the Alt, or the Options key, and drag to the left the left half of the white triangle. Drag it slowly, until you read the settings 40, 255. 
Now the text blends nicely with the wall texture. Let's add some more text. Double click any of the three smart layers. Press V on your keyboard. Hold down Shift and Alt, or Shift and Option, and drag down the text layer, to duplicate it. Use the text tool, to edit the text to your preference. Let's add a third text layer. I will apply a different layer style, to the third text layer. Take a look. Double click the FX button. I will change the gradient overlay colors to blue to cyan. Close the document, and save your changes. Now let's add a photo. Double click any of the three smart layers, to edit the contents. Select the background layer. Select the menu command, file, place embedded, load a photo of your preference, and double click to place it over the background. Rename the layer to photo. Let's add a posterize adjustment layer. Set the posterization levels to 2. We will use the shadow highlights command, to bring out more details. Select the photo layer. Select, image, adjustments, shadow highlights. Move the shadows, highlights, and the mid-tone sliders to your preference. Close the document, and save your changes. Let's take a look at the details. See how the graphics blend with the wall texture. If you bought my cartoons and pop art actions, you can use the various speech balloons, to spice up your graffiti images. Double click any of the three smart layers, to edit the contents. Select a balloon action from the cartoons and pop art product, and run it. Resize and reposition the balloon. Go to the layers panel, and drag the balloon layer below the text layers. Press the FX button, and select Blending Options. Set the Blending Mode to Multiply. Activate the Color Overlay Style. And pick a custom color, for the balloon. Close and Save, to update the graffiti image. Let's zoom in, to view the details.
Thanks for watching.